this is Hatch of Tarot. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jen, and I'm going to be doing a reading. When is your love coming in? Okay, so let's see. Um, when is this love going to come into you? The love that's on your mind or maybe an unexpected love? I'm going to start by pulling three oracle cards, though we're not going to flip them all over. And then we're going to go to the tarot. So let's grab this one first. If you would like to join my Patreon, where the extended will be and always is for all signs, the links are below, guys. I really appreciate it. I also have another channel where I get a bit more personal um, on my journey and things that I have learned to help me get the results I want. That channel is called Jen Lauren, but the link is below for that as well if you'd like to join me. I just posted a video on my skin condition I have and how it taught me to love myself more, which is really great. A great video I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. So let's begin, Taurus, and see what's happening here. So we have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings. Okay, so we're going to have to get definitely go to the tarot. But the overall energy of this is when this person does come in, you're going to have to be very honest with them. It's your best bet to get the results you want here. Um, so keep that in mind. It's very important. I don't recommend being pushy about it because I do see that this female has a lot to say here. Um, one, you know, one key at a time. So one key note at a time for this person, okay? Especially if you're the feminine. There also could be someone coming in towards you um, with a very aggressive energy. It's not like extremely aggressive, but it's like, hear me out, hear what I have to say, hear it all, hear it all right now. It's a lot. So, I mean, look out for that, okay? Let's see when is love coming for Taurus. When is love coming for Taurus? First card. When is love coming for Taurus? Second card. Okay, so when is love coming for Taurus? Here we go. What's this? Okay, Taurus. So the first message I'm going to relate to you is I feel that you're really... Um, it's like really, really, really wanting this. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I do feel that you kind of have to make a decision about something. It could be exactly what you want. It could be the details of how you see this playing out. But I mean, it's very clear that there's someone here that is waiting to pick a door to go through, whether it's you or your person someone's going to be needing to get extremely clear here, okay? They're even suggesting taking some time to yourself to really figure out what you want. So part of what's happening is that this person cannot come in towards you until you decide what you want. It's like they're right outside of your door, but the universe is asking you to share with them, how do you want this to play out? What do you want this person to do? Because this person is unsure. And I do feel that you are unsure as well because you're just waiting. You're just like, when is this coming? When is this coming? And if you keep on saying, it's literally right behind you. If you keep on saying that, you keep on getting more of that. The Four of Mirrors is the Four of Cups. And in the Four of Cups, there's someone staring at three cups in front of them, but they're not seeing that fourth one right behind them. And I feel like that fourth one is what, you know, this person is waiting to come to you. So this is the seven of swords energy, by the way. Um, it's really important to get honest with what you want. Okay. And it's also very important to stand committed in what you want so that this person can stand up stronger and come to you more solid, more ready to provide for you what you want. This honestly could be someone who's in the middle of another relationship right now and they're just like waiting for that nudge or waiting for that sign from the universe 
to take that move. I feel like the person that's going to be coming into your life at this time lacks some confidence. And I mean, it's kind of in both pictures here where they're not standing up straight. This is a lot of um, energy for this person to take in. This person is unsure. Do I go to this door? Do I go to that door? The tail is down. I just feel this very strong lack of confidence in this situation. And it's really important for you to know exactly what you want so you don't come off or come across as needy, um, as pushy. Like you can relay the message with calmness, with steadiness, with accuracy, being respectful to everyone involved, with boundaries included in it. Um, but this person needs, they need to know what you want, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Ooh, my beloved, though we may be physically apart spiritual, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Once again, that makes me feel like you actually do know this person, um, but it's like there has to be some clarity here. You, in the 5D, you're probably constantly going back and forth connecting with this person. Okay, let me give you an example, Taurus. When you're manifesting, if you're, if you work with me, you know, you will know this already. Um, I just saw my plant move. It's like it was talking to me. Sorry, guys. Um, but if you work with me, you'll know this already. Now, a lot of times people say, I don't know what's going on. He's coming into my life and he's leaving and he's coming in again and leaving. And guess what that comes down to? It comes down to you being unsure in your mind. When one day you're thinking positive thoughts about this person or one hour you're thinking positively about this person and then the next hour you're like, oh no, remember they did this to me. They did that to me. I, you know, I don't even like this person. Um, and then you go back to, oh, like, I love this person. I can't wait to be with them. So when you're positive, they come towards you. They call you. You get a message from them. And then when you're negative, they start acting differently. And you're like, what happened? Well, what happened is you happened. So let's see what else we have here. Be assertive. So this is interesting. To be honest, what I feel with this is it's more to be assertive in figuring out what you want. Once you know exactly what you want and you calm down and take that in, I do feel that you won't need to be very assertive. You may be able to get your message across um, much more favorably for this person. You might give them something to think about, I understand, but... Uh, the assertion, I believe, comes in taking off your mask and getting very honest about what you want. And don't be afraid to make it as specific as you want and to even put dates in there. You know, I teach this in my coaching. If, for example, you got a bill from the IRS or the CRA, um, and it does not say a date when you have to pay your, your taxes or whatever by, are you going to pay them? Not really. I mean, you know, just says pay whenever, pay whenever, or, you know, date due, zero, 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 zero. You, you know, what are you going to do? But if it says, hey, pay them by February, March, June, if it says this, you're like, damn, I got to pay them, you know? So don't be afraid to be specific, okay? Taurus, let's pull one more card before I move into the extended. I love this card because what this tells me, it is the magician. Um, either this person has their eye on you right now or this person um, is planning to leave a situation that they may be in right now, take their power back. We're going to really look into this in the extended, but I do feel that you not only have the power with the magician to get what you want once you make your thoughts very clear, but also this person is watching and they want you, even if they seem overwhelmed by fear <laughs> or by conversing or opening up, um, this person is watching, okay? 
And there's an energy here of this person seeing you as very wise. Very wise. Okay, so Taurus, thank you so much. I'm going to just dig into who this person is in the extended. If you're leaving here, that is absolutely okay. On my Patreon, I greatly appreciate you and you know it. Bye for now.